So here's the basic setup for this week's lab. We have our light source over here. We've put some clear tape or opaque tape over the light source, over the small hole, the medium hole, and large hole. And by doing that, we have an opaque object. So the object point starts here with the aperture. So this is going to represent the reflected image off of the cornea. Um, so this will be our corneal image size over here, which becomes an object for the next thing in line in the keratometer, which is this plus lens. This is a plus eight lens. And then a little bit downstream from there, we have our doubling prism. You can see that's a base down prism that I've got it set it up here. And then finally over here in the image plane, we'll have a doubled image. And as you can see, if I take my prism and move it close to the screen, those two become closer together. If I move it too far, they overlap too much. So you have to play around with this a little bit to get the heights of all the systems where you want them to be. You'll notice that the prism is a little bit lower, like the top of the prism is about half the height of the middle of that lens. And the screen uh, will be over here. Now another way that you can do this too, that would be more like the keratometer, would be to take away the screen altogether and we have another lens back here, which is like the eyepiece on the keratometer. So if you come around here and look through the whole system, this would be like looking into the keratometer. If I can get it lined up, what you should see are the doubled images there. And if I move my prism back and forth, sorry, let me get lined up here. If I move my prism back and forth, I can see they're not touching. And now they are getting close to touching right there. And now they're overlapping and now they're just barely touching. So that's how you do it. We're going to use this setup to simulate what happens in the keratometer, and we're going to show you that the uh, image sizes on the screen over here can be used to figure out the size of the original object. Remember, that is going to represent the reflection off of the cornea, which is in turn an image formed by the light coming off the keratometer itself, which we don't have in this particular setup. Thank you.